Hey, welcome to an episode of You Love Comic Books. This is a YouTube show where I showcase my recent comic book calls, comic speculations, and stuff from my collection. All right, I got an awesome haul for you. It's a nice collection of different books from different stores that I went to, some comic stores, an antique store, some dollar bins, some really good cheap finds, some amazing keys, some first appearances, some first issues. There's a lot of great stuff here. And you know what? I, you know, I've been paying attention to my analytics, and it says, like, you know, you want to make sure... You, you, you capture people uh, in the first 30 seconds. So I'm like afraid because I, I, you know, I have a stagnant image here. I got to like be like, oh, look at that. You know, I'll show you the next book. Look at that. But I'm, you know what? We'll get to that in a second. So before we get into the whole, smash that like button. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm sure that more people will see these videos. Smash, if you have any questions or want to say hi, you want to correct me in any way if you feel the need to. We have a comment. I'll get back to you accordingly. You like the type of videos, combo calls, combo speculations, combo collections. You just love comic books in general. Do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button. Become part of the You Love Comic Books conversation. Smash that bell for notifications. All right. Let's do this. All right. This is my local LCS. This was a newer book. I only picked it up because it is a Deadpool photo variant cover. And this is the first photo variant cover. Now, I, I'm assuming this is from the new movie. There were no photo variant covers in the past. Because those other two Deadpool movies were Fox movies, and Marvel Comics was not putting anything out at that time. So this is cool. Happy to grab that. Adventure, this is a Dollarman book, Adventures of Superman 480, first appearance of Ron Troop. The little book spiked a bit. The, his character, Cat Grant and all that, um, were being shown in images that are leaking from the new Superman movie from James Gunn. Micronauts number three from the first series. I thought... Why not? That's a pretty cool get for just a buck. So happy to grab that. All right, this is from another comic store. And these are the dollar bin books I grabbed from this store. Uh, some fun stuff here. Night Watch number six. You know, don't let your eyes deceive you. That is not Venom teaming up with Spawn. That's Night Watch teaming up with Spawn. <laughs> now, I always found this character to be funny. I remember when Marvel announced him in the early 90s, this book's 94, and uh, I always thought it was, I was like, man, they're just making the character look like Spawn. He looks less Spawnish here. You gotta look at that first cover. Uh, I wonder if that was Marvel's little dig at Tom McFarlane, because, you know, at the end of the day, Spawn's just Spider-Man with a cape. I mean, also, what is it, Mr. Bones from Infinity? That That is kind of like a that design that McFarlane gives him is a little bit of a lead up to Spawn as well. This is great. Camelot 3000. Pick this up only. You could find these in the dollar bin. I could probably get the whole series if I want. I, I heard that's supposed to be pretty good, even though from what I heard in the past, the story falls apart in the end. I don't know. But it's a sexy cover from Brian Bowen. So that's pretty cool. I figured, why not? I feel like, you know, Bowen, all these people, they're all going to go after, like, Dave Stevens, oh, Dave Stevens, and they're going to go after, the new one is Bruce Tim. oh, Adam Hughes. <laughs> I feel like Brian Bowen doesn't, it, it has made amazing covers with sexy women as well over the years, and people will go after these covers as well. So, whatever. It was in the doll then. This one's a great one. Superman for The Quest for Peace. This is the adaptation to the last Superman movie starring Christopher Reeve. Um, this movie, I don't know if you, I saw this in the theater when I was a kid, and I remember it not being very good. It's kind of like, it was a Golden Globus. I don't know if you remember that company. They put out a lot of crappy movies in the 80s. There's an awesome documentary called Electric Boogaloo, which is what they call Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. You should check out that documentary, and, and this is part of it, too. Uh, how they got their hands on the Superman franchise and how they were able to convince Christopher Reeve to come back. But uh, happy to grab this. I always love getting movie adaptations. Uh, this is cool. Wolverine number 52 with an awesome uh, Bianchi uh, Sabretooth versus Wolverine. I picked, and then they had 53. I picked these up only because they're in, like, really nice condition. And uh, they don't have, like, a ton of value. I think 54. One of them from this uh, time period, I think it might be 54, is the one with the, the severed Sabretooth head. That one, you know, it looks like an old EC Comics cover. Um, I don't know. Happy to grab those. This is a cool one to get in the dollar bin. That's, like, a fine condition copy. This is New Mutants 14. First appearance of Magic. I guess the first official appearance. 
uh, Colossus' sister. Uh, we are introduced. This character existed since I think uh, Giant Size X Men, but she was like a little girl, and then she gets like aged up, and I don't know. It's all weird. But this is her first appearance. Is Magic. Now this is a great book to find Dalvin. in. It's not a good condition, but I figured why not grab it? Fantastic Four, 353, newsstand. Like, it needs a good pressing. It, it, it would have pressing and could probably get to a fine condition. Maybe less, like a VG fine. I mean, it's got this. I just picked up first appearance of Mobius, played in the, uh, we know his, this character in the, in the shows from, uh, played by Owen Wilson and Loki. Um, he might show up in Deadpool. It, the TVA is in it, but there's a, a different TVA director in the previews we see. That's the guy from Succession. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe he shows up in that, and this book all of a sudden gets a little spiky spiky, you know? All right, that's it for that dial bin. This is from an antique store that I went to. Now, I, I have showcased books from this, an, this booth, from this antique store. They basically charge three bucks for every book. And you could find really good stuff there where it's like, okay, the book's worth three. Sometimes it's worth less than three. But then I, I find books there that are worth way more than three. And I got some good ones I'm going to show you. This one, not so much, but it... It's a blank, it's a sketch cover, Wolverine X-Men. Uh, I'm an artist. I will probably draw on this at some point. So that's why I grabbed it. Shrek number one from Dark Horse. This book, you would think this book would be more valuable. And it really isn't. But you know what? I think that, you know, Shrek 5 is coming out next year. I suppose that's a rumor. 2025 release. And they announced a donkey movie. Uh, <laughs> which... I don't know. I mean, uh, the Puss in Boots movie I, I enjoyed. Maybe I'll enjoy the Donkey movie as well. But I figured, why not grab this one? And for just three, I think that's a good one. And this thing's in excellent condition. This one's a good one. I almost passed on it, but then I got it for another reason. So DC, Superman Action Comics 700, the DC Universe logo variant. I got my hands on this one before. Now, the regular DC Universe logo, Superman Action Comics 700, Goes for like me, not much, like eight bucks, something crazy. But this one, I didn't even notice this. This is the premium edition. See that? And this one last sold for like over 20. So I figured, why not grab that? That's pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. And they are making another one of these. So I figured, why not get this Tron, the original movie adaptation um, that Marvel put out? I don't know what year they did. Must be. You know what? I'm not going to open it. You can just look it up. <laughs> but it's a Greg Land cover. I looked it up. This thing has a bit of value. I thought that was pretty cool. And like I said, there's a new Tron movie coming out either at the end of this year or next year. So Weird War Tales number 103. This is a key in the Weird World Tales series. Key significance of this book is it is the first. <laughs> it is a printed letter from Todd McFarlane. Uh, in the letter pages, Weird War Tales. Before he would enter the art uh, comic scene and take over the industry completely. Uh, it's listed as a key. You know, I think there's like, in the past, there's like a letter come, like Frank Miller wrote a letter in one. And people like try to find those. Like, uh, was it George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones? He did one, uh, Fantastic Four 20, which is the first Molecule Man. And he did like an Avengers book, like number nine or something like that. And people hunt those down because it's almost like that is their first printed work. And I know that sounds ridiculous. Uh, Atomic Front, him being a writer, it almost makes sense that a, a collector would, who likes George R.R. R. Martin would be like, I'm going to try to get those because that is technically that might be considered George R. R. Martin's first published work. And this is technically Tom McFarlane's first published work. Uh, this book is in like okay condition. I was almost going to pass on it, but they had a sale at the store. Everything was 15% off. So with everything I bought, this thing was basically free. Uh, this one's a great one. Space Ghost number one uh, with an awesome Alex Ross cover. Again, only three. Uh, definitely worth way more. Uh, people like... Uh, Space Ghost series, people hunt for these and uh, they have a little bit of a value, especially the first issue. So really awesome. And then the best book I got from this antique store. Now I still have some amazing books to show you. 
But this is the best one from this antique store. And again, it was only three. The Umbrella Academy Free Comic Book Day issue. This is considered the first issue, first appearance of the Umbrella Academy. And this book, on average, can go from anywhere from 50 to 75, probably depending on height. But there's a new season coming out. I think it's the last season of the series. Uh, I had one of these. Uh, that I got when it first came out. I pay, I sold it a couple years ago, and I think I did get like 60 for it. Uh, this is a, an awesome find. This thing's in mint condition. Uh, you know, some people poo-poo on free comic book day books and say they have no value, and I say, uh, it's whatever people want to pay for it. I mean, <laughs> if, there, if a significant amount of people are dropping 60, 50, whatever, 100, 200, then that's the value. That's just how it is. You don't have to buy it. I don't have to buy it. It's just that's what it is. doesn't mean if you got it and you put it up for sale, you're going to get that, that that price. It's just there's a good chance you could. Um, and like I said, this one is one of the free, free comic book day books that has like a lot. Uh, one Punch Man is another one. That one goes for like a good amount. That has Hero, My Hero Academia on the back as well. And you, if you guys know any other free comic book day books that – you know, have like significant value. I'm not talking like five or 10. I'm talking like 50, 100, even more. Leave in the comment section. Let me know. Let us all know. Share the wealth of knowledge. All right. This is, so that's it for that store. Do me a favor. If you haven't done already, hit that like button. All right. This is from uh, Second and Charles. Uh, I haven't, well, the past couple of weeks I've been going there and I haven't found anything good there at all. It's just been kind of, I don't know. They like redid the store. So I felt like they weren't putting new comics. The section shrunk a little, but I went there recently and they had new boxes of books and there's a lot of great stuff in here. So let's get into it. Sound Hill, Dying Inside. Uh, this is from, I think, 2012. It was only $1.95. Konami. This is like a $20 book easily. Very popular video game series. All these video game books, especially like this time period and stuff, uh, people are hunting for these. You know, you think you're Super Mario's and like, Zelda and Sonic, like, of course, those have value, but then, you know, you got these franchises that have been around for decades, like, people go for after those God of War books, etc., so, happy to grab that. Starship Troopers, number one, and Starship Troopers, number two, the movie adaptation. That's a really good get. These were $1.95 each. This one's great. Anytime I find these for cheap, I will just buy them. I have to, especially the, the Archie series. Sonic the Hedgehog, 151. Decent condition. This one was a doll 95. Again, later in the series. It goes to like 250, I think, but I don't know what the print run numbers on these. They're pretty low at this point. We're talking like five, eight thousand, maybe even less. Who knows? Sonic the Hedgehog 150. This one's not as great condition. This was a little more, but I figured, why not get it? It's an awesome close-up of Sonic's face, so that's pretty cool. This is a good one for three. Tales from the Crypt, number one, double-sized first issue. This is a reprint from 1990, probably around the time the show was on. I think the show came on in the late 80s. I used to love that show, the one with the Crypt Keeper and stuff. Well, this one features his origin. That's his dad, and that's his mom, two-headed ogre, and the the mummy uh they did an episode where they rec they did that in the show so uh yeah happy to get that this one's a good one i almost passed on it and i'm glad i didn't uncanny x-men 509 this is a uh, iconic greg land cover greg land is a controversial artist and he gets a lot of crap from people uh, you know, they say, like, this people will say he just straights up Trace or does that. Listen, you ain't gonna believe this, but a lot of artists use references, and I guess the funny thing about him, though, is supposedly he's, he's uh, people have found his references, and some of them were from some, uh, uh, let's say adult entertainment is probably the best way to describe it. But you know what? Happy to grab that anyway. <laughs> All right. Just a couple more left. Superman number 32. This one picked up a bit because it has the first Mr. Oz, first Ultraman. I don't know. There's a character in there. And I forgot the name of it. Uh, again, this has to do with the Superman movie leaks, all the pictures that are coming out, all the characters are like, you know, Guy Garner, Mr. Terrific. There was a picture of Superman looking at a squirrel and people are like, oh my God, is it the Green Lantern squirrel? It might be. It's James Gunn. I mean, he had Rocket Raccoon, you know, in a bunch of movies and he's done, you know, he's got Weasel and Groot. So, you know, he's not afraid to have a goofy little character like a Green Lantern squirrel in the movie. <laughs> but, uh... 
This issue, though, I bought it. And it was a dollar ninety-five. It's in really nice condition. But I got home and I realized, like, it's okay. It's not the newsstand. I think this is the combo pack. The newsstand. Um, I, don't, I. It's a little different from this. I can't find anything. I looked this up. I couldn't find anything on this book. I looked up like Superman combo pack. Nothing. <laughs> so if you guys. I, I'm pretty sure it's the Walmart combo pack. They just this is around time when they got rid of the combo pack word, and but still has a date. Uh, you know. 2004 August 2014 August happy to grab that all right this one's really good and I didn't realize like until I got home like how much better it is Adventures of Spider-Man number 12 this was 295 this is in really nice condition but here's the thing this is the newsstand flip book with Adventures of X-Men number 12 and uh this book can demand anywhere from 40 to 60. I'm not even sure. Uh, happy to grab this. Like I said, that's the new stance on the back of this book. I just grabbed it because I knew like these, and this, I didn't even realize this is the last issue in the series. So they only went to 12 issues. So there is a regular version of this that does not have the X-Men flip book on the back. That's just this story. And I think that one goes for like 20. So this one's probably like double, if not more. So happy to grab that. That's a really good find, especially for only $2.95. So happy to grab that. All right, and here are the last books for the haul. So do me a favor, if you haven't done it already, smash that like button. Leave a comment if you haven't done so. Subscribe to the channel. Smash that bell for notifications. All right, let's get into this. So this was $24.95 in the case at Second and Charles. And at first I was like, mm, but I was like, I can't pass on this. Watchmen number four. Watchmen number three. Watchmen number two. And then of course, Watchmen number one. This $24.95 for just Watchmen number one alone would be a great price. Like that'd be a really good price. Like this book has started spiking again. Uh, there's a Watchmen cartoon coming out, like a two-parter. I think, I don't know. I, do they even make DVDs anymore? <laughs> I'll probably be on Max and stuff like that. Uh, happy to grab this. I have this full series ready, and I think I have a bunch of doubles, but I was not going to pass on this. You know, it's more than I want to spend on books, but I was like, in theory, it's like six and a quarter for each issue. Uh, so... That's not bad, actually. That's a really good price. So I was shocked it was that cheap. Uh, Second of Charles can be a little dicey. Some of the stores give their books the most insane stupid prices where I'm like, what are you doing? Who's buying this? And then there's others where they're just really reasonable or they're really, really good. And, you know, you just grab them. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say this was an awesome haul. You know, finding... Obviously, this book and this book, you know, everyone's favorite, Greg Land, the, the Space Ghost, the Umbrella Academy, Tom McFarlane's Letter, <laughs> Tron. <laughs> so, yeah, this was an awesome, awesome haul. Found lots of great stuff. I think this is one of the good hauls. You know what? Actually, I take it back. All my hauls are good. I appreciate everyone who's been watching this channel. Uh, thank you again for everyone getting me over to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, really means a lot. Uh, it took me years to get to that point. I hope to double it one day. Uh, maybe I'll do a contest if I ever get to 2,000 subscribers. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I, so do me a favor again. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. You're going to see a previous video here. You're going to see a previous video there. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Smash that subscribe button right here. All right. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.